Joining us now is Jay Taylor, president of Taylor Hard Money Advisors and editor of MiningStocks.com. Jay, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us today. In my memory, I cannot recall a time when we have seen, heard, and watched so much advertising trying to get people to invest in gold mm -hmm. as, I, as I've seen in the last year or so. Now, you've been uh, dealing with gold for a long, long time, and there's a lot of concern about uh, uh, the uh, Fed uh, printing up all the money here and uh, the international situation. Is this, is this different, or is it just my perception right now that it's really strange and crazy? No, I think it's. Uh, I think your perception is exactly right. It is a strange and crazy time because it's a time when America has basically departed from its uh, uh, from from its history of being a free market um, capitalist nation. We have gone more and more towards Keynesian economics, which tries to intervene, interfere with the normal market, uh, with with the markets and the way they would behave. And we have um, uh, over the decades have become more and more uh, have drifted further away from true free market economics. So I think what we're seeing is larger and larger uh, bubbles uh, is the common word that's used, but uh, you could say dislocations in the economy because of that intervention. And the biggest intervention of all has come in the monetary, uh, in the monetary regime uh, where we have printed now trillions and trillions of dollars. This is money that's created out of nothing, and when you put it in the, in the context of what it means and what Bernanke is doing with his trillions of dollars of quantitative easing, the Chinese have accumulated $2.8 trillion worth of foreign reserves over many years, and they've done it the hard way. They've worked real hard, and they've sent us goods that we wanted in exchange for pieces of paper that we printed. And uh, this cannot go on forever, and the world is starting to figure that out. Smart investors have been going to gold and to silver for some time. They will be the ones that come out the winner. Um, but unfortunately, most people are uh, pretty gullible, and they're pretty willing to believe whatever they see on the major media. And so most people will be led like sheep to the slaughter, I'm afraid. Would you say it's true that when we let the free markets run, there are people that try to steal all the money, and then government has to step in and try to make it better? Is that what no, I would here? say, uh, no, honestly, I know that's the conventional wisdom. Honestly, I believe exactly the opposite is the truth, because when free markets run, there's competition, and competition holds people in check. What we have is anything but free market competition these days. What we have are large corporate interests who have special privileges that are gained through the halls of Congress, uh, and, least, uh, and, and most of all that, I believe, would include the bankers who have just been bailed out Yes. At the expense of the common folks. And the bankers and the financial companies were out there using 40 to 1 leverage, and, and they got bit in the behind. Yes, and so free market economics would say, uh, let them pay the price. Uh, let them learn the lesson. Instead, we don't allow them to learn the lesson. We've taught the wrong lesson to the banking community, especially the large banks. We've taught them that they can take big risks, take huge profits, get great bonuses, and if they fail... Well, we can just say that it's going to be in everybody's best interest to bail them out. Well, and that's the lack of regulation. Uh, no, I would say, uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that's a lack of regulation. I would, we've had plenty of regulation. The regulators just haven't perhaps uh, paid much attention. Well, I, I, I will probably agree with you. Yeah, uh, 40 to 1 leverage, unregulated, is going to have some problems. Well, yes, but here's the thing. If you let the markets teach that lesson... You see, we're not letting the markets... I can go back to the problems in the 1990s when I was a banker, and I could see that Citicorp and NMB, which is a Dutch bank that I worked for, knew full well that they would be bailed out from earlier lessons uh, in Jamaica and elsewhere. Right. That if they went in and lent money and got huge profits from Mex in Mexico, they didn't have to worry about Mexico defaulting, even though the reason those interest rates were so high was at the high risk. They knew that the, that the government would bail them out. Right, right. But what, we have, what we have is a government that is inter, inter, interfering with the marketplace. If the market had taught Citicorp and NMB a lesson, but the government got in the way of keeping the markets from working, the markets would have taught them that it's not wise to take 40 to 1 leverage. It's they, not wise. They would only what do you that have with is a, is, 
They will only do that with government guarantees, and I know we're running out of time. I'm sorry to say. We are really... Yes, uh, Jay, here. Jay, we'd like to uh, tentatively reschedule you sometime in the future. Can we do that? Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. Jay Taylor with uh, MiningStocks.com is the website president of Taylor Hard Money Assets. Thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure.